All right, uh, that lovely piece of music for the um, intro. Okay, uh, you're here in coaching session with Z and L. Yep. I am L, that's Z. Okay, first before we go and uh, start anything Z, I want to extend condolences to the family of Dorita Ferguson. Uh, Dorita was a national player that from back in the day, right? She, in the early 90s or so, okay. she represented the Pinelands and, and um, the Barbados. Mm -hmm. She's a feisty little player. And she was ill and she passed away recently. What age, what age was she? And she was in her 50s or so. Okay. Right, so she, she used to, she was a real feisty little player, you know, as a, as a basketball player. And she passed away recently. She, her funeral was early up in the week, so. I just want to extend condolences to her family because she has a basketball family. Yes, agree. All right. Okay, so first thing first, my brother, is, you know, the... Review? Yeah, the review of the games on, on Sunday. Sunday, yeah, because we only had games on Sunday because, remember Tuesday, the games were called yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the first game on the Sunday afternoon was um, the bottom seeded right now, Warriors Sports yeah, yeah, yeah. Club versus the Conway School Tridents. Yeah. And from yeah. early on, I just want to ask you something. Yeah. There's, there, could, there could be any further back down at the bottom because um, there's any like I don't further because I, I, I watch them. The uh, Warriors really ain't got nothing. The at thing all. is, they scored a lot of points. The score was 113 to 90. Yeah, but, but I, the think, game I think was not close. Yeah, at all. I, I think the schoolboys were just disinterested. Yeah, I mean, at halftime they were pretty much leading 57 to, to, to 40. Pretty much a 17 point game. Schoolboys were coasting through. You know, run, everybody get equal run. Mm. But then we had um, uh, Warriors were struggling early on to actually get five. But then people turned up, the game was played. Um, we had um, some, some good performances, but the rotations were pretty quick in terms mm. of in and out. Schoolboys yeah. were getting some play. But Kyron Alexander against the out, he had 30 points Whoa. Um, early on. And you know, he scored those in a bunch of, bunch of ways. Yeah. He went 11 for 16 from inside the arc. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the the Warriors team pretty much they put out their numbers, but only had six guys, mm -hmm. so the numbers would have been there. So that really, you know, that game wasn't yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we moved on to the the Bull Spartan, which yeah, was that, even worse. Yeah, yeah that was. I mean, that was less interesting. I I don't think I don't know what Spartan, but Diaz didn't play. Yeah. I think that made a big difference. They only scored 36 points. Right. I mean, we get heat to to the Warriors team for scoring 28 the week before. Yeah, but this, this scored 36. Only eight more. Really. I mean, if you score 36 points, mm. then that doesn't say a lot for you, especially team for Saint Philip. Yeah. I thought they would be playing with a lot more energy, especially early in the season. I mean, early in the season mm. is the time you really play a game and looking like, like to score points. Yeah, but I see they got some dissension in camp. I see. Already? Yeah, because I see um, a lot. You know, they had a lot. Of, People flaring off their hands, I mean, they get sub and it that happens. sort of stuff. If you're going to be at 70, 75, 36, yeah. then yeah, you're going to be happy about it. Yeah, but to be honest with you, though, I mean, they, what did they expect? They, they're against uh, like the champions, so what they expect? True. But um, then the, the third game of the evening was Lakers and and Celtics. I think this game was pretty close going going on until um, Lakers pretty much blew it out in the fourth quarter. Um, yeah, well, I wouldn't say a blow, but they had two consistent runs, and that was it. Yeah, well, basketball is yeah. a game of runs. Yeah. You know, you get more runs, you get more yeah, consistent yeah. player. Um, Keith had 29 points. Yeah. Keith really st stepped up yeah. uh, after starting the season slow, although he did shoot two for nine from three, mm. but he still scored his 29. Um, I think Celtics probably didn't have an answer for him at all. And, you know, you had the normal Rashad Hall had 20 points. Um, I see Bouncer had, Sydney Rowe had 12, 12 and 9. Oh, okay. Still playing his part. I think Sydney's about 40, 48 years old now. Yeah. Um, or maybe a little higher. <laughs> but he's still doing his part against his former club. Oh, okay. And then we had um, the last game of the night, which which we made a, which we made a, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. you won that one, you won that one. Yeah, you, you won that one, you won that one. I told you, you told me, I told you, uh, you told me five, right? Pinus by five. Yeah, yeah, and I told Pinus by ten. Pinus by ten, but yeah. you know what? Pinus were up in the game late, mm -hmm. and then Chikosi Bwardi had three, three point shots near the end oh, to okay. kind of close the gear and make it interesting. So, but so Pinus really and truly, on. really and truly, uh, Bwardi is who caused me not to be um, in yeah, this person. Yeah, okay. you know, the sharp shooter was, he hit a few shots at the end. 
Cavs did win the fourth quarter by mm -hmm. six points, so that's your your, yeah. your points there. Yeah, yeah. You know, they yeah. pretty much close the deal, but yeah. closer to me, so I got one love in the Pickhams. Oh, okay, all right. Um, mm -hmm. Station Hill lost the game. Still early still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, early, very early. Mm -hmm. I think the point is boys early in the season really, really come out to play. You yeah. know what I mean? They, they really come out to play. Yeah, they look relatively um, sure. I still, I still feel the, the, the lack yeah, of bench. Yeah, we had Kazarian Adams had 20 points in that game against mm -hmm. Station Hill. Oh, okay. um, I thought they, they shot the ball pretty well. The, even their, their three point shooting has improved since last season for sure. Oh, okay. Um, you know, but but the game was pretty tight early and well it was a, it was a thirty first quarter. Pointless really got off the hot start. Yeah. But then it, it tightened up mm. as it should with two good teams. And then we had Stasia Hill just gonna hold on again. end. Pointless the lead won the game. Yeah. So that's it for our reviews. Um, so now we're gonna back to the, the CIS pickups. Oh jeez. So okay. You know so, we got some games coming up this week. Yeah. Um, we got you know our normal four games on the schedule on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So this time we can do two games after that. Oh, on uh, Sunday? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So we got the same pointless team who are beaten. Okay. And then we got Conway School Tridents. Okay. So uh, to me, to me, that's a 2 p.m. game. A 2 p.m. game is really make a difference with Conway schools, especially with older teams. Mm. But there's a younger pointless team. Mm. Um, I expect that Conway schools will really come out with a head of steam in this one, playing mm. against some guys that played with them last year. Mm. Um, I think they can they can stay tight with pointless and get them a run. Mm. But I think um, pointless gonna hold on near the end. Mm. I can see this game actually going either way. And the biggest problem, yeah, the biggest problem to me with pointless is their bench. Yeah. And I think Conway School's strength is their bench. Yeah. Their depth. So if if rotated the right way and if they run the right way, I think it could be a game if it stays close early. I think in the fourth quarter, it could kind of go either way. Uh, well, I can be honest with you. I think pointless gonna blow them up. You think so? Yeah. Um, I think I think pointless. Those, those two. Those two, those three boys that left, yeah. they can try to prove you know, a point. Prove a point. Okay. So I, I, I really see them getting blow. Right? Well, I mean, I, I, when you say blow, blow means what? 15 points or more? Yeah, yeah, yeah about 15. Okay. Yeah. So, so, right, so you, you got, got pointers. You got pointers by 15. Yeah. I, I can, I can teach school boys in this game. Okay. All right. Good. Two all point right. game. Two, two p.m. game. Uh huh. Um, everybody there. I, I actually gonna tear school boys by three in this game. Okay. All right. Well, I think I can call my school traders by three in this game. But you know so how it, pointless how guys, I know they can they can be after me a bit for this one. But somehow, if their bench is not strengthened by that game, I think school boys gonna hold on. Okay. All right. Well, you know I like to see Trident play because yeah. I mean they don't play much D, but it's still a wonderful <laughs> offense. So I like to see them play. So. Uh, but I still feel Pinelands will, okay. will get home. So you got Pinelands? Yeah, I got Pinelands. I got Conway Schools. So you know what? Stage Hill Cavaliers versus. But you know you got, got Lakers. You got Lakers, right? Uh, you got Lakers to win this game. Yeah. Lakers are currently 1 and 2. 1, one and, and two. 2. Yeah. And Stage Hill Cavaliers are currently. 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. 2 and 2. Who they lost to Clapham? And Pinelands. And Pinelands. Mm. I, I think, I think Stage Hill. I go with Stage Hill for this one. Okay. All right. Yeah. I got Stage Hill, you got Lakers, so we never gotta go a point spread. Yeah. Because no, it's yeah, one against one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So pretty much we against each other the whole Sunday day. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Alright. So Tuesday we got Pinelands again versus City United. So uh, I don't think I think both we get the same. Yeah, 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 we can go. Go with point spread this time, right? Go with point spread. Yeah, okay, alright. I Jeez. I got Pinelands by twenty five. Oh my. <laughs> right now right now in the game going on behind us, uh City United are actually 45 mm. and Stasio Cavaliers at 83. Yeah. So it's almost 40. Yeah, yeah. Oh, large. So, <laughs> so 25, 25, so 25 might be too small. Might be cutting a little too short, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go a pointless by 30. Oh, okay. You go by 30. Okay, okay, right, just to right. go above you. So okay, you can okay. be as yours. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. All right, good. So all we right. move on to Thursday then. Yeah, Thursday then we have. You reschedule again from yeah, Tuesday. From Tuesday. Now, yeah, in our got... picks before, mm -hmm. we had. Well, I think I met with Bulls. Mm hmm. Did you go with I mean, I mean, I mean, I Trident Sam um, in, a, in a close one. In a close and, one. And, and, uh, upset. So you stay, you stay with that, that prediction? Apparently, apparently uh, the Bulls fans got a little upset because they said that. Oh, okay. But um, I, I stick with the Bulls. I, sorry, yeah, I stick with Trident. Tr I, okay. I stick with Trident. Um, this is going to be a Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Should be fully healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, if my predictions go right, they should be coming off a win against Milos. Yeah. So I, I, I think that. I, I can stick the Bulls in this one. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think Bulls got this one, so we against each other this one too. Okay. All right. Cool. So, so, so yeah. this is this will be. Yeah. So we'll see. You're, you're leading one up, right? Yes. So, yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. You can see. You can see how it goes. 
All right. Um, up next, though, um, you will have um, Horse Z on court side with Derrini Hurley from Pointlands. Yes. You see how that goes. Yep. Okay, welcome to court side with Court Z. Now, tonight we have Derrini Hurley from Pointlands. Yeah. 18 years old, point guard, starting point guard for his team. Um, this is his first year with the Pointlands team in Premier League, but he recently moved from Conway School Tridents. And he also won the most improved player in 2019. Um, in the 2019 season, he was averaging 20 points, four and a half rebounds, three steals, and he led the league in assists with five and a half a game. And I think he had a pretty good 2019 season with Trident, so I know he's moved on to, to Pinelands. And I think they're they're they pretty much unbeaten so far. Um, so your stats this year are pretty much seven points, eight rebounds, nine assists, which also leads the league again. And two and a half steals. Um, so first, I want to ask you, Darren, how tall are you? Um, I am five. Oh, I am five eight. Five eight. Okay. And the reason being, I think he's the shortest player in the league right now. And um, yeah. you know, just just to see his numbers and his height is is pretty much a great motivation for a lot of people out there as well. Um, so how the season has been going so far for you, transitioning from Cowboy Schools to Finance Basketball Club? Um, the season has been going good so far. Um, it's a little different playing for Poilans than Cowboy Schools because it's, to me, a little more structure at Poilans because I, that's my home team. I'm very accustomed to playing with all the guys so far. Um, but I like it, like how the season been going. Okay. And Coming off the most improved player award last year, what are your some of your individual goals for this season? This season, um, I ain't really had much individual goals. I'm just looking to win the championship. Mm -hmm. If MVP would be probably in my head sometimes, but not really much individual just as a team. Right, okay. I mean, so um, I know you add a lot of team pieces, a lot of young pieces this year. Yeah. Um, trying to call my schools to add to the veteran pieces that, that Finals have. Um, so I, I assume then you're talking about championships. Um, that would be your team goal in terms yeah, of my team goal, yeah. how the team thinking about championship this year. Yeah. Even after missing the playoffs last year, um, do you think you can go all the way? Yeah, for sure. You think you got a team that are going all the way? Yeah. And challenging Clapham and Stage. You know who made it the finals last year? And challenging the team. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just, just, just thinking about, I know you watch the NBA and stuff. International basketball, you play for Barbados Junior Team. Uh, who's your favorite basketball player? It could be local, it could be international. Who's mm. your favorite basketball player? Like? I would say Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Okay. And if I had to ask you who you, who you pack in your game after, would it be Kyrie Irving too? Yeah, it would be Kyrie Irving. Okay. And a little bit of that. A little bit of that. But yeah. you obviously don't know, so I don't know how you pack him after that. Um, but really, truly, I think your season off is a pretty good start. I know the points are down, but that's kind of expected you play with a team now that you don't necessarily need to score as much. Um, because you pretty much lead school boys last year with 20 points a game. Uh, this year you're down to seven, but the assists pretty much double, almost double from last year. You're averaging nine a game, and for a person at 5'8", you're averaging eight rebounds a game, which is pretty impressive uh, for anybody pretty much. I know you're probably giving the big guys some heat. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. For <laughs> For sure. So, you know what I mean? Um, but I think uh, you've got a long season ahead. Yeah, no, no. Um, you know there's a national tour this year, so what's your, what's your goals in terms of intentions, in terms of the national team coming up this year? I would for sure like to make a national team. That's one of the main goals. For sure to be a, either not, even if it's not a starting point guard, but be on the team, get some experience overseas, being at a senior level. So, so now you're talking about overseas, do you, do you, um, are you working towards trying to carry your game overseas? Yeah. In terms of pursuing scholarships, pursuing, pursuing anything overseas in terms yeah, of Yeah, we're trying to get. Works right now, or are you just... Right now, a little slow, but mm. hopefully things pick yeah, up. Hopefully, like... you get a good season and you got some film to put on. Yeah, put out there put for out the coaches there. to see as well. Yeah. All right, so this is Darren Hurley from Finals Basketball Club. And from Court Side with me, Court Z. We out. Now we 
have a really nice, that was a nice interview there with, with Darren Hurley. Darren, yeah, good yeah, one. Yeah, he's a good basketball player. Yeah. Um, so now we are going to look at the stat leaders. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah, so the first thing is we are going to look at the points, see who, who, who lead in points. Well, the, the thing is about the points per game is that you mentioned earlier you like to see the Cowboy School's offense. Yeah. And the thing is they got one and two in points. Right now, Kyron Alexander averaging 30 a game and Simeon Maynard averaging 23 a game. You know, that's 53 points between two boys from Harrison College. Yeah. Um, I, I have a feel for the people that go play them this year in school league. <laughs> yeah, over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, boy. So, but then we got also Diaz, Elihu Diaz from Spartans coming in at 23 points a game. Mm -hmm. And Devron Knight, who I thought been very impressive with the Israel Cavaliers. Uh, he's averaging about just about 20 points a game too. Yeah, well, let's call him the Pogo State. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I love like to he, see him play. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, you know, a ball of activity. Yeah, man. yeah, he's hype he, all the time, ready yeah. to go after rebounds. I like his energy. Yeah, as a coach, anybody would love his energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and then you got your rebounds, and Devron is also up there. The rebounds, Devron averaging 12 rebounds a game. I think we got three players pretty much tight around that area in 12 a game. Mm -hmm. uh, Devron Knight. From Station Hill Cavaliers, we got Sydney Rowe from City United, averaging oh, okay. 12. You know, uh, Sydney Rowe at 40. Yeah, still 48 get, years old, getting 12 rebounds yeah, a game. Yeah, good. Well, I mean, Nikolai Williams at 12, but mm. I don't know if a lot of those offensive rebounds because <laughs> they got a lot of misses going around there for that club. Um, so Nikolai gonna be up there with the rebounds as well. Mm. Um, but you know, the big guys always up there with the rebounds. Um, but earlier in the interview with, with Darren, Darren is average actually, average actually eight rebounds a game. Yeah, you know, um, five for eight. Yeah, eight and then a game. I was trying to figure out where he's getting rebounds from. Baby. I don't know. I, I, I think the men's box them out. But I think he's he just going to get them. Well. Okay. You know, right, cool. he's been pretty impressive in yeah. that stat. And then, but he, he lead in the assists. He was okay. the league leader last year with five and a half assists a game for mm. Conway Schools, mm. and this year he's leading. Uh, nine assists a game. Well, nine assists a nine game. Nine assists a game. And you say averaging how many eight rebounds? rebounds? So he really seven eight nine across the board. Seven points eight rebounds nine assists. Yeah, he, he close to triple double though. Close to triple double. His favorite player, as he mentioned, if you was Russell Westbrook. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so like he trying to get that triple double. I see. Yeah. Um, then we got Diaz from Spartans averaging seven a game, mm -hmm. and Kyron Alexander up there as well. He averaging six assists yeah, a game, he, along with his thirty basketball. points. Yeah, you know, so a lot of points coming off of that. Come my school's rotation. Yeah, there. Um, and then Simeon, Simeon. We mentioned Simeon earlier with the twenty-three points, but he's all he also averaging five three-pointers a game. Yeah, you know, Simeon been shooting the ball really well also. Um, then we have um, we go on to the steals. And the team playing behind us right now, Stasio Cavaliers, mm -hmm. has the leader in that pretty much. Uh, Joel Hunt, been pretty much hands yeah, in the got, passing yeah, lanes, he got, yeah, he, getting he got a lot long of steals, hands, yeah. averaging over five, or five steals a game. Yeah. You know, so he up there. Um, I think Theo, Theo from Theo Greenwich from Sparta has been around four or six steals a game. Okay. Uh, you know, he's always been a pest on defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of energy as well. Some yeah. people just say he's just a pest, but I would say a pest <laughs> on defense. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Um, works hard. Yeah, you know, good energy. Good, yeah, I, I like him as a as, as a basketball player, uh, as a person. Yeah, right. Very good player, uh, yeah. People don't understand him uh -huh. because you know you you're real feisty and yeah. that sort of stuff. But I find good that attitude. he. I yeah, he's got, I like, I like, he played for like, Conway School for yeah. a couple years, so I know him. Yeah, he's, he's good attitude. He's, he's a good dude. And then we got former defensive player of the year. Averaging four blocks a game in Charles Vanderpool oh, okay. from Finland. Um and I think nobody else pretty much over 1.5. Okay, so Charles actually Charles four, four, blocks. four blocks. Yeah, I don't know if Charles can still jump, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know obviously the pan me I, I don't know. <laughs> you know I mean, so you're averaging four blocks a game, yeah. and then the, the, the stat with Theo though that really bothering me is mm. his turnovers. Oh, okay. So you guess how much turnovers you're averaging again? Oh dear. I can't guess. You can't guess. Uh -uh. He's averaging eight and a half turnovers a game. Well, that's a lot of turnovers. Yeah. And I think he actually does work with a bakery at all. <laughs> really? That's the thing. Yeah, oh dear. <laughs> so I think Theo needs to tighten up on that. Yeah, yeah. You know, he needs yeah, to because really you, you, can't, you can't be uh, getting steals and then turnovers. over. Turn over. Right. Yeah, they steal, they turn over yeah. the ball. You know? So that's pretty much our stat leaders for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, for the season so far, I think mostly everybody has played almost four games. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a rough idea of the stats in terms of the averages. Um, so then next time we're going to go on to our power rankings. Well, I have yeah. to tell you that there, there, there is some movement mm -hmm. in, on my side of the, of the uh, power rankings. Yeah. Um, what has happened is that a couple of things happened. One, I watched Warriors play. And I was trying to figure out if you could put a team further down than eighth. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm putting like 12 or something. Right. And then 
I saw Spartans and their body language, uh -huh. and I I'm not convinced that they will win a game now. <laughs> but Actually, somebody's gonna win a game. Yeah, yeah, because Spartan yeah, Spartan Warriors. Warriors. But I am gonna be honest with you. I think nine to nineteen is gonna beat Celtics. But I think Celtics were playing really good right now. But mm. the thing is, they just lost that game ninety to fifty six to mm. Stage Hill. Uh. I mean, Stage Hill is a good team. Mm. Celtics been looking better, but. I think the matchup with them and Spartans is going to be very interesting. Mm. And I think it all hinges again on if Diaz plays. Okay. Diaz did not play the game against Clapham mm -hmm. and they only scored 36 points. Yeah. But I mean, with him, they will still lose again. Yeah, by the way, but be closer. More points. And not only that, remember he's also hitting the assist. So yes. it means that it means that he's passed, as he passed the ball to you to shoot it. Right. Yeah, at least somebody to shoot it. Somebody. Yeah. Um, um, but um, I think if he doesn't play, they don't have a chance. Yeah. No. If he plays, they, they might get closer. But I don't yeah. like the body language. I, I see people not sitting on the bench and yeah. people quarreling, but people in stands and so that's, I, that's, I don't see them right. I don't see them progressing too far. I'm saying that I think Celtics have been improving every game. Yeah. I think they, they've been they've been getting more people to play. Yeah. They were still looking a little full right now. Um a little I, younger they, too, I still, must admit. Yes, they understand it a little more in terms of playing the game. Mm. They've been getting some tough losses, mm. but they have moved up on my ranking in terms of over Spartans. Yeah, yeah. I think I, we pretty much got the same rankings yeah, this week. Yeah. So we the, the bottom four, well, the bottom three, uh -huh. Warriors in eighth, Spartans yeah. in seventh. In seventh. Uh, Both Celtic. teams haven't won a game yet. Yeah, yeah. We got Celtics at one and three now yeah. at sixth position. Mm -hmm. But any top five now, we got them the same. Mm -hmm. But you know the teams can pretty much argue in terms of where they should be. Well, um, well. My, and you may reasoning for moving down Lakers. Well, we got Lakers at fifth. Both yeah, us, I got one and right. two record. Right. We not only, not only that, right. they struggle to beat City United. Yeah. And I watched City United against the schoolboys. Right? Yeah. I mean, the schoolboys just toy with City. Yeah. And then Lakers struggle to beat them. So my thing is, I, I can't put them in top four. Then they struggle to beat a team at the bottom. But I mean, at one and two, I can't put them over a team like Combine Schools who are three yeah. and one. Yeah. So I I move Combine Schools into the top four. Yeah. And too, yeah. I, I also think a lot of people saying, um, oh no, they didn't play anybody yet. But right. Wait, only play on who they, roster? Not only that. Schedule, sir. Yeah, but not only that. I'm telling you that there's that four games. Yeah. Right? Even to lose the next three games, right? You understand? When last the school was in three, three games in the, in the first round? I mean, three or the four games. Yeah. I mean, that's a quarter of the yeah. season, right? Right. So, so, so I got school I boys put, at Yeah, I got four, and four, then I got the um, Cavs. Right, so we right. got Cavs moving down to three then. Yeah. With their three and two record now after they beat City yeah. United. And then I got Pinelands still on beaten. Yes. So they move up the rankings. Yeah. And position. And then I think you had them at two last week. No, I had them at two last oh, week. Yeah. So you saw, yeah. you saw it coming. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Pinelands, Pinelands, I feel again, like I feel again, like they are going to plateau, you know. Yeah. But right now I think they, they, they're playing good ball. I think they got a good mixture of youth and experience, so I don't, mm. I don't really necessarily see them plateauing. Mm. I think if they add a few more pieces to the bench, as we've been saying all yeah, year, yeah. that I can see a more consistent performance for them. Yeah. Um, I think they're gonna be unbeaten right now, and the, the game again with them and Clapham mm. gonna be a battle of two unbeaten teams. Yeah, by then, that time, yeah. I think it's the last game of the first round, yeah. and I think by that time we're gonna be two unbeaten teams at seven and zero, and I think that's gonna be a very exciting matchup. Yeah. Um, and at this point, I can see it going either way. But at that time, I guess this is next Sunday. Mm -hmm. I think then we can make a better determination of. Yeah, we'll of be able game. to see how. So we got pointers at two and clapping bows up. It's still in their first yeah. position. I, I, don't, I don't see the boy. I don't see the boy moving in front of it. Right now. Yeah. Right. So right. that's it for the power rankings. All right. So now we are on to the clipboard with Elk. Uh, yes, on my clipboard, and it's a fairly clean clipboard today. Uh -huh. um, on my clipboard is Simeon Maynard. Uh, Simeon Miller from Trident, he's having a phenomenal season. Actually, he's probably the shortest guard in the tournament. Uh, I, think, I think Darren is. Darren is? Yeah, I think Darren, Darren is still short. Darren is still short. Jeez. But anyway, so he, he is one of the smaller guards and, and he's shooting the ball very well. Actually, he's leading the league in points because he scored the most points in the league. Most, yes. Got yeah. Kyron missed yeah, the game. Yeah, so, but his average is 23 mm -hmm. and he's shooting phenomenally from the three point line. And I must tell you that he has been. You know, there and there boats for his entire career, really, because right. he has been, you know, like uh, uh, always playing with the ball. Always, he was always good, you know, at his at his age group. So he he has done a lot. He is someone that we think that could, you know, that would be in one of those bright spots again, you know, in, in the basketball fraternity. And I look forward once he doesn't um, think that he's he's arrived mm -hmm. and keep working. 
I, I expect that he will he will go a long way in bar as possible. What what I like about the season so far is he's average. Remember he's coming off of an injury as well. Yeah. Remember he had a serious injury last yeah. year in his school league finals. Yeah. Um, when he hurt his knee, mm -hmm. and he's right now averaging 30 minutes a game, and on the three, three turnovers a game. He's protecting the ball. He has the ball in his hand a lot, and he's yeah. protecting it. He's not turning over. Similar yeah. to Derrini, not yeah. turning over the ball, but still having the points, the assists, yeah. handling the ball. I think those are those are very those are real keys as a point guard. Mm. Lower the turnovers yeah. and scoring, getting your teammates involved. He's actually captain of the Conway schools. He's a good leader and stuff. So I think he's having a, a positive start to his Premier League career, pretty much. Yes. Right. Um, and and he's this this full first full season. Yeah. Last so, year he played two games up. He yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean he was he was leading the Division One team, which I was coaching. Yeah. And then he had the injury, which put him out pretty oh, much. Okay. Um, but you know he's really flourished into his role, and his spot, pretty much. And He's only 15 years old. Yeah. You know, so he has a lot of growth yeah. still ahead it of him. It seems like I know him forever. Yeah. He's been playing forever. Yeah, he's playing forever, but he's still only 15. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was on my clipboard. Um, um last week we welcomed some of the feedback that we got. Um, you know, we had some we had some positive feedback about our first episode. And I think that we'll be moving from strength to strength. And we'll try to, you know, we take the feedback. Um, if you are offended by anything we say, well, you know, just just get over it, cause we will. Um, but as I tell you now, the court in session is adjourned. <laughs>